And even that is not trivial. Uh, so surprisingly, um, uh, so uh, let me denote that uh, resulting uh, m to the string tree level, uh, up to the coefficient of string coupling by a uh, ij kl uh, phi. Um, uh, well, uh, this right, the coefficient is a ij kl phi, uh, where uh, now um, I'm going to
coefficient of the uh, uh, the resulting coefficient of uh, uh, the h to the fourth coupling <coughs> in that four sheet combination tree level is uh, the integral of the cross ratio of uh, some dc to the minus s minus one minus d to the minus t minus one s uh, a bit there from uh, the Soros Shapiro type amplitudes uh, multiplied by the Foley function of the this uh, Roman sector vertex operator, ground state vertex operator uh, in the uh, phase three CFT uh, labeled by I, J, K, and L.
Um, I'm going to uh, uh, later give a formula uh, that give an exact formula that relate that allows to calculate certain types of ankle screw and screw small blocks exactly by relating it to a very store of small blocks. So that's one new result that is uh, completely handled this amplitude that allows us to get a new handle on the 2D bootstrap. Um, and the second piece of missing ingredient previously was that typically, well, at least for this collab LC amplitude, there's a modular space. If you study the bootstrap constraints, usually just study a given four point function, um, there's no input of uh, the modular dependence. In fact, um, you know, we know that K3CFD has a modular space from, you know, uh, from I guess the 80s. Um, that is the, the modular space of the embedding of this lattice. Um, but that is often, well, that, I mean, that is you know, understood kind of indirectly, not directly in the CFD language, and often from by invoking string duologies. Um, and it was not obvious how to characterize that in terms of CFD data alone. In the case of nonlinear single model on the cloud L3 ball firing space, we do have some characterization of modular terms in terms of the CFD data. That is, certain DPS preform functions are given by the cloud L3 potential, which is more known exactly. So that's a useful input. In the case of K3, we don't even have that because the preform function of DPS2, actually, these are, as I will review in a second, these are half DPS operators. They're, the current between two half DPS and another DPS operator is zero K3 CFD. So there's no non trivial modular dependent data. Can put in the level of DPS correlators at um, uh, level three point correlators. So we have to go to the four point function to to, 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 to learn modular dependence. Um, but unless you you know some exact result of the modular dependence, otherwise you can't really uh, say in doing the bootstrap which point you are on the modular space. And uh, now this actually provides a way to tell where you are on modular space because we're explaining if you take the four point function and integrate. Uh, the result is some number that you can actually know as function of the modulus. It turns out that's a very powerful input. This may not seem like much because the focal function is a function of a cross ratio. We're just integrating to get one number, which is A I to K L, but that one number is going to put severe constraints on uh, the non DPS spectrum up here to the OP of a pair of these DPS operators. <coughs> uh, and we'll be able to get quite a bit of mileage out of that, in fact. Um, but before so that, let me first review the representation theory of echo sports over the formal algebra. So um, K3 CFD. So let's talk about 2D uh, uh, total number 4 superconformal theory. So we were talking about on the left, well, on the right moving sector of the 2D superconformal theory on string worksheet, uh, we have echo sport superconformal, the, the small echo sport superconformal algebra. Uh, uh, that generally has uh, um, SU2 R symmetry, and this SU2 outer automorphism, which generally is not symmetry of the theory, so it's a symmetry of the algebra. Um, this also, you can write that. Um, this R symmetry, uh, so for, for this, I'm just talking about the holomorphic sector of the CFD. The R symmetry is generally uh, governed by current algebra level K, uh, and central charge, the super one algebra is 6K. Uh, of course, for us, for K3 CFD, uh, this is the case, k equals 1. Um, in general, uh, it is, uh, uh, it was uh, well known what the, the representation content of this supersymmetry algebra. So there are uh, uh, DPS representations uh, and non-DPS representations. I'm just referring to the representation with respect to the left so the holomorphic and equals 4 to one uh, formal algebra for the moment. Uh, for the DPS, you have the couple of ways if you go to the SU2 spin uh, equals uh, zero, uh, one half, all the way up to k over two. This is the NS sector. Uh, for non DPS in the NS sector, you will have um, H, the common weight, bigger than S2 spin uh, J, which takes value of zero, one half, all the way up to k minus one over two. You cannot, the J cannot exceed that value as a consequence of unitarity, the non trivial consequence of unitarity. Um, the Ramon sector uh, vertex operators are related by a spectral flow. So the H is always C over 24 or K over 4. Uh, our J ranges from 0 right now to 0 to 2 again in this case, and also we discussed this in the NPS, but I won't actually need it, so I will not write it. Um, now, uh, in the case of uh, K equals 1, it's very simple. In the case of K equals 1, it's going to 6. The representations are extremely uh, restricted. So, can only go up to half, and this is just zero. Okay, so uh, a non DPS primary with respect to the C equals 6 to the A equals 4 superconformal algebra uh, necessarily has um, uh, 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 SU2 R charge zero, uh, which is K zero, whereas for the DPS guy, you have to go to one half. Um, 
uh, somewhat familiar. Oh, uh, sorry, I actually skipped the footage for that. Um, now, uh, the, here I'm just talking about representation with respect to the polymorphic angles for support to common algebra. The actual operator of the CFD of course are representation with respect to both the left and the right uh, uh, support to common algebras. Um, so you can uh, put the left and right representations together. Um, I'll, I'll focus on K with one case. Um, uh, so, uh, this, of course, there's always identity operator that, that is trivial as well, and that's always there, so let me uh, not worry about identity operator. Um, there are half BPS operators. Uh, these half BPS operators um, have the property that uh, H equals J equals one half, and so is H tilde, and J tilde. So on the left and on the right, we have uh, uh, the uh, primary. Um, uh, then there are quarter BPS guys. The quarter BPS primaries have uh, H equals J equals one half, H tilde equals some um, S that is a positive integer, uh, and J tilde equals zero. So, or vice versa, or exchange these the row of left and right. Uh, so, here the construction is that you have some vertex operator, you have some primary that is. A BPS representation with back to left uh, uh, equals four algebra, and a non BPS representation with back to right equals four algebra, or vice versa. Um, and then, of course, there are non BPS guys, but these ones all, always have uh, J and J tilde both equal to zero. And H will be, uh, uh, H and H tilde are, of course, positive. Uh, you might wonder why I cannot take the J equals zero and, let's say, equal zero combined with uh, with this uh, to form another kind of BPS operator. So those operators, uh, I don't want to take j equals zero on either side, uh, because if I did, uh, the, these will correspond to uh, conserved currents, um, and a general quantum matrix is space of history CFD, there are no conserved currents uh, that are not parsed. There are no conserved currents that are not part of the support of the That can be understood from the whole preservation theory. So, uh, so because knowing that, knowing that, I don't are the complete uh, set of representations that will appear in the primary uh, expression of the case. So for a physical k, h minus h tilde should be an integer here. Yes, uh, so here I'm talking about the primaries. So you can take descendants, yes, indeed. So you have the descendants as the, the, the genome features that you have. Um, OK, uh, so uh, these guys, uh, uh, they are uh, 20 of them. Uh, so here I'm talking about, I'm using the language of NS, NS vector uh, vertex operator. Uh, so um, by spectral flow, these 20 uh, NS vector vertex operators are going to be related to 20 Laurent sector, Laurent for Laurent ground states, and this one will be related to a, set, a multiple of four Laurent ground states, I divide to 24 uh, ground states in total in the Laurent ground vector. Um, uh, the elliptic genus of K3 counts uh, one half together with one quarter BPS operators. So no, the elliptic genus fixes the degeneracy of the one quarter BPS operators. Uh, um, and there generally, there has not been so much known about the non-BPS operator spectrum, and that's going to be the subject of this talk. Um, so um, here, all of these are what I've been referring to as half BPS operators. Uh, it turns out that the OB coefficients of quarter BPS operator and the OP of two happy test operators is zero. That's a slightly natural fact of uh, equals six equals four algebra. It can be proven with, with a simple counter argument. Uh, I will not uh, spend time on that. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an elementary counter argument that you can use to prove that the quality test operators does not show up in this OP. So in this OP, you can only have uh, identity channel, identity uh, orientation, and non BPS uh, operators. Uh, so, uh, this uh, four point function of uh, uh, this pi i, pi j, pi k, pi l um, uh, can be decomposed uh, through uh, a uh, n plus four, the uh, super conformal block decomposition, uh, in the, I'll just write in the schematic form of the identity channel uh, together with the sum over uh, non BPS operators. 
uh, realize that it's semi um, Now, uh, the reason that there's some formula like this between this and this, um, but the reason for this is the following. So, um, uh, in this actually, uh, this relation we discovered uh, through the study of Biddle string theory. Uh, I will not get into the details of that, I just want to uh, uh, say that kind of the, the, the idea, just roughly speaking. Um, so, um, mm, there's a n equals 2, so a k prime minus 1 cigar CFT um, that is, uh, 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 can be realized by n equals 2, by n equals 2 coset, that is uh, SL2, uh, <coughs> level, super symmetry SL2 at level k prime, not E1 uh, coset. Uh, so, uh, expressed as a nonlinear signal model with some natural field and profile, this looks like, the bosonic part looks like a cigar. Cigar CFT, um, and um, um, uh, this offer, uh, this CFT plays a role in the so called double scale deal string theory, which I will not get into in a moment. Um, um, you can study, so this CFT has um, uh, some normalizable, normalizable states that correspond to some kind of wave function that's supported at the tip of the cigar, and then there's some delta function normalizable states which are in the traveling wave that it reflects off the cigar. This normalizable state generally contains both BPS and non-BPS points. Uh, if you focus on the BPS points, you can calculate the coherent function, uh, polar function, uh, which we had uh, previously studied in a paper from uh, last year. Um, and uh, through some miraculous relation of Rivel and Teschner relating the SL2 correlator to Liouville theory, one can relate that polar function uh, of these normalizable BPS operators a legal theory, but that's really hard to recognize this formula as uh, coming from legal theory. Um, and it turns out that if you carefully look at the uh, decomposition of those uh, conformal blocks, um, well, look at the formal function, the structure is such that um, the, the, the A goes for conformal block associated with this kind of scattering wave primary that appears in OB of a pair of non of BPS primaries can be identified with simply a very short time. Um, so that would be a guess, but then once you have guesses, you can check if you get out of any words. Okay, so there are higher dimensional versions of uh, the, the, the kind of relation between BPS and more blocks and non bps and more blocks. Uh, but in this case, it's special, it's more complicated because it involves center of charge, and it will, be not, not have, it will not have been easy to guess the, the center of charge if you can know this relation. Okay, so, uh, so that's a, so that allows us to now, uh, you know, straightforwardly calculate all these conformal blocks uh, because we know how to calculate these very sort of conformal blocks. Um, and then uh, we'll plug this into the uh, standard uh, uh, bootstrap uh, of, uh, analysis. Um, uh, uh, in fact, I guess I only have 15 minutes left, right? So, uh, so uh, uh, I'm just going to write down the cross equations and tell you the results. I'm not uh, going too much detail of the Bootstrap, the radical bootstrap stories. Uh, so, um, um, 